So folks, sometimes the BS gets so deep, I just can't stand it. I really, I really, it just throws me uh, out of whack. I got to say something about it. And this is one of those situations where Donald Trump was talking about the armaments, weaponry that were left in Afghanistan when the troops left. First of all, he's got the amount wrong. It, he says 85 billion. Where did he get this? No, it was more like 7 billion. And I, I guess I, it's the insinuation that the military doesn't know what the hell they're doing. It, it, that just kind of, you know, strikes me at the core. It's something like the, the military just doesn't know what the hell they're doing. And he, he's acting as if we washed the Humvees, put a coat of wax on them, put air in the tires, and topped off the gas tank. I mean, it's insane. It's insane. Um, and in this, he's actually saying that we left night goggles um, for them. And, and what, what's ridiculous about that, just take that snippet. So we left night goggles for them, he says, and they're better than the ones that we have. Well, oh, excuse me. Not, I'm not saying that they were even operational because they destroyed a lot of the equipment, which I'll show you. Most of it was destroyed. But if they had night goggles that we left, how are they better than the ones that we have? Jesus. It's, uh, it's beyond the pale. Yeah, how are they better than the ones that we had before? You know, and if there happened to be a Humvee that they could get running after it was destroyed, good luck on getting parts. Because the parts come from the U.S., right? Nobody's going to give them parts. Anyway, here's what he said. Have a listen to this. We left $85 billion worth of brand new beautiful equipment behind jets and tanks and everything you couldn't think of. Goggles. Goggles? Night goggles. They didn't use to fight. They're good fighters. They didn't use to fight at night. But now they do because they have goggles. They've they got have goggles. better goggles than we have. Oh. So I just want to uh, tell you that led to a lot of bad things. And now... The worst things are happening. The things that are happening now are unthinkable, and they're unthinkable at the border. So take a look at this report. This is from the Voice of America, and it's showing these helicopters that are just bashed to hell, as you can see. The, the windows are bashed. You know they're inoperable. The motors have been trashed. I mean, there's nothing operable about what you're looking at right here. And then there's a report from, a quote from the Pentagon that says the $7.12 billion figure, not $85 billion, $7.12 billion figure, cited in the department's recent report to Congress, corresponds to ANDSF equipment and not U.S. military equipment used by our forces. This is a spokesman, Army Major Rob Lodwick. Nearly all equipment used by U.S. military forces in Afghanistan was either retrograded or destroyed prior to our withdrawal. I mean, how stupid do you think they are, Donald Trump? I mean, in, rather than portray the military as stupid, it makes him look stupid to say such outlandish, ridiculous, crazy things. And it, and it points to the cognitive decline. He's just grabbing at straws. He's pulling stuff out of his, you know... P-O-Y-A, pulling out of yo ass, you know, stuff like this, folks, and it's ridiculous. I mean, it makes no sense. So before I end the segment, I've got to show you this. So this is Robert F. Kennedy, who, when asked about being on Jeffrey Epstein's plane, he said this. Have a listen to this, folks. So, and I you run into everybody in New York. I mean, I knew... Harvey Weinstein, I knew Roger Ailes, I knew O.J. Simpson came to my house, on yeah. the, Bill Cosby came to my house. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so getting back to the question, what was it like being on Epstein's plane? I know you've had all these people, you know, blah, blah, blah. That doesn't mean anything. What the, the real question is, what was it like being on Epstein's plane? RFK, what did you do when you got to the mystery island? We'd, we'd all just love to know. I mean, these politicians, some of them, not all of them, but they are such a scandalous breed, folks. Um, I just love pointing out the crap. I, ju I just do. I really, really love it.